Hi everyone, it's uh, Hi. Barbara and Robert again from the bornlifestyle.com and we're coming to you again from beautiful Pattaya, Thailand, a uh, beautiful resort in, in, in uh, Bangkok. So today we want to, we really want to share with you the importance of having a short term and a long term goal. Mm -hmm. uh, this is something that you really must implement in, 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 in your strategy to achieve your business or to move your business to the next level. Now, everybody has dreams. Dreams are exactly what they are and that's dreams. Goals are more of a tangible thing. It's more something that you can actually grasp and make a strategy to achieve. So when you come to these masterminds, one of the main things that they teach you is that there's a strategy to get to the goals that you set out when you originally think about where you want to be in your business. The first level, the second level, the third level, as you scale up in your business. So you want to think and say, where do I want to be in six months or 12 months? Um, you want to put your strategy down on paper and you want to go after that goal. Mm -hmm. Now my wife has some more things uh, to comment on with that, so honey. So when it comes to internet marketing, the most important goals could be income, generating mm -hmm. traffic, marketing strategies, um, getting long-term customers, per personal discipline versus procrastination. And Procrast trust me, oh. Everybody procrastinates. Every, right? Everybody does it. Even the seven and eight figure earners even admitted today uh, that they do do this. And this is something that's in the human condition to do. Everybody puts off. But putting it off is like um, how quickly do you want to achieve the goal that, that so many people want when they set out in this business. Uh, a goal is something that you want to reach. It's something you, that you want to achieve because it will give you the the uh, confidence to move on. So procrastination is definitely something that everybody does, but it's a matter of pushing past that and, and just focusing on a system that'll get you there. For sure. And um, discipline is not just the only one. Also money. Be careful how you uh, <laughs> talk about the money, how you think about money. Be realistic. Okay, so if you are one of those people who are uh, making just ends meet right now, don't set yourself for failure by giving yourself um, expectations that are not achievable within the first 12 months, for example. Mm -hmm. Okay, so sometimes small steps, mm -hmm. uh, a small increments of your income goals could be much more achievable than huge leaps. Yeah, actually an example that was done actually this morning was think of your your journey or your, your way to your goal as a baby. I mean, people, some people have babies, they don't, but you know that a baby has to do crawling and small steps before it learns how to balance and move forward to a table or, or another parent or, or something or toy. Same thing goes with your goals. You got to do it in small steps. As long as you're moving forward, and you know failure is going to happen. It's just an, it, it's just nature of the business, which we discussed in a previous uh, in a previous video. But you know, the 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 idea of, of moving slowly forward towards your goal, step by step. It doesn't have to be a big move. It just has to be you know, that you're moving in the right direction towards your goal. For sure. So be kind to yourself. Okay. So. <laughs> Make sure you are setting yourself for success mm -hmm. by giving yourself realistic goals, okay? Yeah. And also, for example, when you get your first customers, okay, what are you going to do with them and how you're going to stay focused uh, on your business? What are your daily tasks? Um, what is your plan on a daily basis to achieve it, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. So definitely think about um, what you want, what is the most challenging thing that you are supposed to accomplish that day. Mm -hmm. So schedule it for the first thing in the morning, get it done, get it out of the way, and then you can focus on the small things like socializing on Facebook, doing your emails, but get the most important thing. Your most important thing is always the money-making mm -hmm. strategy. Okay? The number one thing. Now remember, mm -hmm. uh, distractions are like a simple explanation to that would be if you're on a pathway and you know, there's grass and trees on both sides 
you get distracted, you walk off the path, you gotta keep pulling yourself back on. It's gonna take you longer to get to that final destination, whatever that may be, a park, a car, or whatever. So stay on the path. It would be a quicker way to get to your goal that you set out for yourself. It's very, very, sounds very simple, but it happens to everybody. Oh, yeah. So you just have to keep pulling yourself back and focusing on your goal. Yes. So, as we mentioned earlier, working from home means freedom. However, you have to be careful how you discipline yourself, okay? So stay disciplined, stay on task, mm -hmm. remind yourself of your goal, okay? What is your vision? Be very clear what you want to achieve, mm -hmm. how fast you want to achieve it, have a very specific goal and vision in place, okay? Mm -hmm. And if you follow these steps, if you follow, you know, make up your short-term goal, make it a long-term goal, have a very clear vision, break it down into not just a year, but months, weeks, and days, and then if you follow it, you are definitely going to be successful. You're going to get there. You are going to get there, and it's all about mindset. It's all about what you want, it's all up and depends on how you want to get there and achieving that. So We, we hope you uh, got a yeah. fantastic value out of this video. There were lots of different tips and nuggets, so hope you implement uh, a lot of them. And if you have any questions, oh, you can always reach out to us at thebornlifestyle.com or you can email us with some questions with thebornlifestyle at fastmail.com. So again, we're coming to you from beautiful Pattaya, Thailand. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. See ya. Okay. Bye for now.